This is lesson 12.4, probability distributions. Our essential question is, what does a probability distribution tell you about an experiment? So our first example is to develop a theoretical probability distribution. So it says, Tio and Henry are running for president of student council. You will select a campaign button at random from a box containing three Tio buttons and three Henry buttons. You will record the number of Tio buttons that you get. What is the theoretical probability distribution for the sample space 0 or 1? So what we have to think about is that you're equally likely to get either 0 or 1 if you're only drawing one um, one button because there's three of each. So our probability of zero is one half and our probability of one is also one half. Okay, then the second part of this says now you plan to select a button at random, put it back in the box, and then select another button at random. You will record the total number of times that you get a TO button in the experiment. Define the theoretical probability distribution for the sample space 0, 1, or 2. How does the probability dif distribution differ from the distribution in part A? So if we have to, so we think about this, we're now drawing two buttons. So on the first draw, we have two choices. We could get a Tio or a Henry. So, and those are both 50-50. So a half, prob the probability of getting either one is a half then you we're putting the button back, so that means that it's not going to affect our second draw. So then our second draw, if we, even if we, no matter which one we drew, we still have two more possibilities. It could be T.O. and Henry, or T.O. and Henry. So each of these is a half. So if we look at our four possible outcomes, we have the probability of drawing TO and then TO again. Okay, we have the probability of TO and then Henry. We have the probability of Henry and then TO. And then we have the probability of Henry and Henry. So each of these, the way that we find the probabilities when we make kind of a uh, tree diagram like this is we multiply. So the first probability was a half, the second probability was a half, so each of these is going to be a fourth. So if we look at our sample space, so the probability of drawing zero TO buttons, that would be this probability right here, which is one-fourth. That's Henry both times. The probability of drawing one would be either the T.O. Henry, oops, the T.O. Henry or the Henry T.O. So one-fourth plus one-fourth, that would be one-half. And finally, the probability of two T.O.s would also be one-fourth. So it's asking us to, how does the probability distribution differ from the distribution in part A? So this is what we call uniform distribution because the probabilities were the same and this is not uniform because all the probabilities are not the same. Okay, and our second example says to develop an experimental probability distribution. So a cell phone company surveyed 500 households about the number of smartphones they have that are in use. So you can see in this table here we have the number of smartphones per household and we have the frequency. So how many households said that that is how many phones that they had. So the question is, would you recommend that the company concentrate on selling data plans for individuals or plans of families with three or more smartphones? So what we can do with this data is we can figure out what percent of our total 500 households fall into each category. So um, zero phones would be 2% because we take 10 out of the 500. One phone would be 13%. Two phones, 24%. Three phones would be 29% of households. 
four phones would be 16%, five phones would be 7%, and six or more would be 9%. I'm not wanting me to draw these percent signs. Okay, so those are my percents. So we're looking at three and up. So if we focus on that per those percentages, 29, 16, 7, and 9, and we add them all up, we get 61%. So that means that 61% of the households surveyed have three or more phones. So that would, that would um, mean that we should probably recommend that they are going to focus on selling data plans for individuals, or sorry, not individuals, but data plans for families with three or more so with three or more smartphones because more people fall in that category than fall in um, individual plans so individual plans would be 13 percent okay so that is 12 4 let me know if you have